I know you're a busy person, so here's my summary of which piano you should buy straight away. If your objective is to learn the piano in the traditional way, lessons, sheet music, etc., and you want the piano with the most authentic piano touch and feel, then buy yourself a Yamaha CLP model. If your objective is to learn the piano, but you feel doing so in the traditional way with lessons, sheet music, teacher, etc., might not be for you, and you like modern technology like smartphones and tablets, etc., then the Yamaha CSP model will be for you. Now, if you're still with me, let me compare the two models in a little bit more detail for you. Just before we dive too deep into this video, I need your support. Please, can you press the thumbs up icon below the video? It really helps an independent shop like us get seen on YouTube. Thank you. What are the fundamental differences? Both the Yamaha CSP model and the CLP model are both designed to give you a very authentic piano style touch and feel and sound, and they both do it very, very well. When you sit and play these models, no matter which one's in the range, you'll be very impressed with how realistic the piano keys feel and how good the sound is. Essentially, it will feel just like playing the real thing. But the fundamental differences between these two ranges is the way that they can be used to help you learn to play the piano. Now let's dig a little bit deeper into how they do this, shall we? Learning to play on the Yamaha CLP range. This range is essentially designed to replicate as closely as possible the experience of playing a traditional piano. Consequently, the main method of learning to play on a Yamaha CLP model is quite traditional as well. You can simply place a music book on the music rest, open it up, and learn to play in the tried and trusted way that people have done for years. You might even hire a teacher to sit next to you and wrap you over the knuckles with a wooden ruler if you like that kind of thing. These methods are going to require you to learn how to read sheet music, which although is a worthy pursuit, it does take serious dedication. It will undoubtedly take up a lot of your time. And of course, it can't really be described as a very easy thing to do. Which brings us to learning to play on the Yamaha CSP range. Now, before I get into this too much, I must say that you can learn in the traditional way, as I've just described, on a CSP model as well, because the essential ingredients are all there. The weighted keys, the authentic sound, the music rest for your book, etc. Where the CSP range differs, though, importantly, from the CLP range, is that it offers a system of learning that is far more modern and integrates perfectly with smartphones and tablets. What I'm talking about is the Stream Lights learning system. When this system is activated on a narrow panel just above the keys, you'll see LED lights falling down, instructing you exactly which notes to play and when. It's very easy to understand and follow, far easier than reading sheet music. Even an absolute beginner would be able to sit down at these pianos and play albeit slowly, a song from scratch immediately, almost without any practice whatsoever. When you're using the Streamlight system, it doesn't actually require you to use a tablet or a smartphone, by the way. There are many songs preloaded into the piano and you can select these by using various key combinations to learn without the need for any music books at all. And there's a good selection of songs that are built into these models. However, using Yamaha's uh, free companion app called Yamaha Smart Pianist is where the fun really starts to be had on the CSP models. It's a surprisingly deep app to use, uh, by no means just a controller. Uh, it's got a vast array of options uh, but to summarize the um, main benefits for you, it allows you to access and control the piano's voices, uh, including layering them, um, access and control the rhythms and backing musics. Um, this is so you can play along and it feels like there's a band playing along with you. Those backing tracks, by the way, are way more impressive than the ones that you'll find on the CLP models. Uh, you can access and control the built-in songs for learning to play. Now, 
as I said, you can do that without the tablet if you want to, without the app, but it does require some com complex and rather uncomfortable key combinations to do. Doing it through the app is just so much easier, as you can see. And one of the most impressive features for me um, of this app, and gives you an idea of how advanced Yamaha's technology is, that the Yamaha Smart Pianist app can actually take your music collection on your device and not only play it through the speakers of the CSP model, but it can also analyze the digital information and show you the sheet music for it on the app or the chords as well, which is a phenomenal piece of technology and really, really good fun. And of course, it means it engages you. You've got the collection of music that you like on your phone. You can just load it up with the app, get the music up, and even have the stream lights dropping down for you to play as well. It's just brilliant. For total beginners, the option to select your favorite songs that you've already got on your phone, uh, load them onto the app, and then learn how to play them on a system that's as easy as the stream lights is just brilliant and perhaps more importantly it's fun to do and it's very engaging and what's even better is the Yamaha Smart Pianist app is absolutely free in fact you can download it on your phone right now so as you can see the Yamaha CSP models marry together very well the benefits of traditional pianos and modern technology so apart from being set on wanting to learn in a very traditional way, uh, why else might you choose a Yamaha CLP rather than a CSP model? Firstly, it helps to have an overview of the two ranges, as there are only two Yamaha CSP models, the CSP 150 and 170, but there are five Yamaha CLP models. Um, there are two baby grand models by the way but I'm going to ignore those for now I'm just going to talk about the upright versions uh, the prices in the CLP range go from around 1400 pounds to 5000 pounds and the CSP range go from about 2100 to about 3500 now the prices do fluctuate a little and there's the whole inflation thing happening of course so forgive me for not being precise um, but for the very latest prices go to the ePiano's website and you'll be able to see them on there. So from this, you can see that the CSP model um, sits somewhere in the middle of the combined CLP, CSP price spread. So if keeping a tight budget is your priority, then perhaps your best option is going to be a lower end CLP model. Remember what I said about even those ones will give you an authentic piano playing experience. They're very good, CLP 725 is the first one in the range. But as you'll have no doubt noticed, the price range of the Yamaha CLP models comfortably exceeds the CSP ones and goes as high as the 5,000 pound mark. Uh, there are two CLP models that are priced higher than the CSP models, which leads to this question. Why would you spend more for one of those CLP models? Well, first of all, Let's narrow down which models we're talking about here. The two models priced above the top price CSP are the Yamaha CLP775 and CLP785. It's these models where the design and the specification gives you things that the CSP range simply cannot. Firstly, those two models, CLP775 and 785, use the very latest weighted key mechanism that's called grand touch the csp range still uses a weighted key mechanism but it is a slightly older one the technology is going on with every cycle of these pianos the action represents the cutting edge of digital piano technology and if your aim is to reach the higher piano grades you'll not only benefit from practicing on this key, but you'll also be more satisfied with it as your standard improves. Speaking of the higher piano grades and the demands that those grades will make on your playing, uh, the 775 and the 785 also include something called the GP um, response damper pedal. It's been a favorite analogy of mine when um, explaining the specifications of these types of pianos to um, 
compare them to learning to paint. Now imagine you're learning to paint, but the only colors in your palette are a single shade of red, blue, and green. You'd be able to paint a pretty nice picture of a tree, um, but it probably wouldn't have much fine detail or shading. And as your standard improves, you simply won't have the tools to be able to express yourself. Using the damper pedal on a real piano is a very important way that pianists can manipulate the sound of a piano. And when it's used with skill, it effectively gives you many more shades of a color in your palette, uh, meaning that you can express yourself with your playing with fewer limitations. The importance of the GP response damper pedal on 775 and 785 uh, should not be underestimated. It's rather an unglamorous detail, um, but if your ambition or if your ambition for your child uh, is to genuinely excel, then it's the kind of thing that you don't want to be without. By now you should be getting a flavor of uh, Yamaha's uh, incredible attention to detail um, and their dedication to making very, very good high-end digital pianos. And these are the reasons that they have led the digital piano market for decades. One further piece of technology that I must talk about on these pianos, and you'll find this in the whole of the CLP range, but not the CSP range, is a piece of technology called Grand Expression Modeling. Uh, and it too is designed to um, further close the gap between playing a traditional piano and a digital piano. Again, it's to do with the finer, subtle details of playing a traditional piano. Uh, in this case, Grand Expression Modeling more accurately measures the velocity of your key strikes. Why? Because on traditional pianos, different attacks to the notes produce different sounds. It's subtle, yes, but again, if your ambition is to excel, it's this type of technology that you're really going to appreciate as your skill level goes up. I should definitely mention the superior speaker and amplifier combination on the 775 and particularly the CLP 785 when compared even to the top spec CSP 170. Again, this might not seem like an important detail, um, but considering the importance of the technology I just mentioned to do with how well you can express yourself, um, a better speaker and amplifier combination one that gives a very wide scope of tonal variation is actually something that's going to be very important when it comes to fully expressing yourself. Better speakers and amplifiers surely accentuate that, not diminish it. The Smart Pianist app is for CLP2. Uh, just one final thing for you to put into your calculations uh, when deciding between these two ranges of pianos is the Smart Pianist app that I mentioned can be used on the Yamaha CLP range, the entire range as well. You'll be able to control the piano's voices, uh, mix them, layer them, etc., and you'll be able to play your own music collection through the speakers of the CLP pianos and bring up the sheet music on the app, as I mentioned before. However, the key difference is that you will not have the benefit of the Streamlight learning system over the top of the keys as you have on the CSP models. Nor will you have the large selection of um, rhythms and backing accompaniments uh, to play along with you as you play because the CSP model has that all built into the piano itself whereas the CLP model doesn't have um, them at all. It does have some very rudimentary drum beats and a bass line you can play along with but it's very basic. CSP models, you've actually got full band and orchestra rhythms and accompaniments that will play along with you. So while using the Smart Pianist app with the CLP models does give some fun options, it seems to me that using it in conjunction with the Streamlight system on the CSP models is how it will benefit you as a learner the most. In summary, which piano should I buy? I'll repeat what I said at the beginning, which was if your objective is to learn the piano in the traditional way and you want the most authentic piano playing experience with the weighted keys that feel cl most closely to the real thing, the CLP range will be for you. However, if your objective is to learn to play piano, but you feel doing so in the traditional way 
is not going to be for you and you like using modern technology like smartphones, tablets, etc., then undoubtedly the CSP models from Yamaha will be the right ones for you. Hopefully this video has given you some important things to think about uh, while you're trying to make a choice between these two pianos. But I wonder, have you made your mind up already? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. And indeed, if you have any questions about both of these models, leave them in the comments section below and we'll come right back to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Just a reminder, if you haven't done already, please can you press the thumbs up icon below the video. It really helps a small independent shop like us get seen on YouTube. Thank you.